Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be doing the rest of the build challenge. And when I say the rest, it's not actually all of them either. So this right here is the amphibious World War II vehicle challenge. All of these vehicles should be amphibious and also should be able to drive on land. And um, yeah, so the idea today is that we're going to test out all of them. Uh, starting with this one right here, which is a Terrapin Mark 1. This one right next to it is also called the Terrapin Mark 1. Uh, they're both built by different people, and they both look very different. But, um, yeah. I guess we're gonna go ahead and go through all of them, check them all out, and, uh, see what we like and what we don't, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and get inside this one to begin with, because, uh, that's what we should do. Here we go, padded seat. Let's go ahead and close that door. Whoop! No, wait, how do I... There we go. Close the door. Brilliant. Uh, we got ourselves a driver's seat right there. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and get inside that. And uh, we should be able to start getting this thing moving. So, if we can... What's this? Engine pumps. Yes, engine. Very nice. All-wheel steering. Wait, it's got all-wheel steering. Cool. Uh, indoor lights. Yes. Um, we got handbrake, which should be... Whoa, Jesus. It's got like an automatic gearbox. Hey, awesome. Second gear works on land and water. All right, here we go. We're going into second gear. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. But look how quick those those wheels turn. That's really weird. Or should I say wheelie weird? Ha 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 ha. Right, well, anyway, all-wheel drive is going to go on. Front headlights are going to go on. And overhead bar is going to go on. Look at this. Whoa, that is bright. That is so bright. How fast are we going right now? Speed is 35. Oh, we're actually speeding up because we're going in a straight line. Awesome. All right, where's all-wheel steering? Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, can we do, like, donuts in this thing? Here we go. You ready? Oh, not really. Not really. The engine doesn't like that. The engine does not like that. All right, it's time to ram it into the water and see how amphibious this thing actually is. It looks like it's just going to be very floaty, so uh, it'll be completely fine. There we go. Nice. All right, second gear. Let's go ahead and change into that. I feel like we're revving up too much. What's all this stuff? We got electrical connectors on the front if we need them. Uh, we don't really need them. What is this? First, enable the engine. Pumps, uh, then the engine. For high speed on land, enable all-wheel drive. Uh, before entering the water, disable it. Whoops. Uh, all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering. Um, once you've entered the water, stop to do a full stop. Then, when you're ready, go. What? I'm confused, but um, we're driving. That's fine. Uh, on the battery, and if it runs low, leave the engine to idle. Alright, nice. But anyway, uh, it works in the water, and it works on land. Um, and it's got like a weird greenhouse thing going on in the back, so I want to see what that is. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of the land. Out of the land, out of the water. And, uh, that'll be great. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and park it up here somewhere. And, uh, stop. Park your brake on. Active. Nice. Uh, right, turn this off, uh, turn the engines off, turn the front headlights off, and everything else. Indoor light might as well stay on, and I'll show you guys around. So, back here we got a flare gun, we got some flare ammo, we got some radios, and we got some binoculars. Very nice. Uh, if we go this way, we get ourselves uh, a bunch of first aid kits, we get ourselves a fire extinguisher, a welder, an underwater welder, and um, a defibrillator. If we go around the other side, probably got the same stuff. Yes, we do. If we go through here, we got a bunch of seating, and that's cool, but like, what is it? And an engine. <laughs> we get ourselves the seating and an engine, uh, some scuba gear and some firefighting equipment, some arctic gear, and some um, diving equipment too. So that's everything. Cool. I like it. I like it. If we go outside, it's obviously got, um, it's got a bit of a camo on it too, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's awesome. Looks a little bit like a Hummer though. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, now it's time for the Terrapin Mark 1 BC for the build challenge. Uh, this one is, like, different. The the top is open, which is interesting. Um, right, okay. Why isn't it... I'm confused. I'm very confused as to how this one works. That's propeller. What in the world? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't actually know how this works at all. Um, interesting? 
I can't throttle up the engine because that's just. We got battery full. It's bed. Okay, right. Uh, I don't know if this one's gonna work. It doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it is at all. But um, I mean, this is <laughs> this is a weird way of working. If this is how it works, because I, I can't throttle up. I don't have a throttle for it. I've got a propeller throttle, but that's not right. Also, uh, I'm pressing up and down. That doesn't do anything. I'm pushing W, and that's making us drive forwards, because that's the clutch. Um, I don't understand. I don't Unless it's supposed to just be cranking, which I don't think it is. That's weird. Why does it even have fuel? That doesn't make sense. But anyway, uh, its sped is like 12, which isn't too bad. Uh, <laughs> its fuel is um, not going down, because it's not using it. And our battery is going down. However, I think we've got enough time to get into the water and out of the water again. Um, yeah. I don't know. Right, let's just propel it on. Here we go. Propellers on. In the water we go. And everything do be fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. So weird, though. This is so weird. Okay, so I want to say that this one is a little bit broken. Uh, I don't know how to make it work, so... That's an obvious issue right there, but uh, let's get ourselves out of the water again and uh, drive us up onto the beach and we'll leave it up there because I I genuinely don't know how to make this thing work, so yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and slap on that parking brake and we've parked up next to the other one. Awesome. Turn this off because it's annoying and we're good. Okay. That's really strange though. I don't know why the engine doesn't work. That's really weird. But anyway, right here we've got a place for cargo. We can actually tie it down with the ropes. Uh, back here we've got uh, like air vents. And then even further backwards we've got like cooling things and some hoses and also some cables. We've got a fire extinguisher, we've got fire fire, uh, diving equipment, and we've got a bunch of first aid equipment. Yeah, okay. But this one is completely different to that one, even though they've got similar names. Interesting. Okay, now for one that I actually really like. This one is the RT-11. That isn't saying I don't like the other ones, by the way. That's what it made it sound like, but that's that's not what I'm saying, I promise. Anyway, let's go ahead and get up onto the top of this thing. Whoop! There we go. Go ahead and actually close that. That's a gunner's seat. Uh, can I get in the driver's hatch? Is that a thing? Yeah, here we go. Down into the driver's seat. Awesome. Uh, how do I close that from down here? Can I? I don't think I can close the driver's hatch from downstairs. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Where is it? Is it on the actual lid? Driver's hatch. Close. There we go. Alright, cool. So, we're going to get this thing moving forwards. It's going to be fine. Here we go. Starters on. Uh, let's go. It's got an automatic gearbox. Alright, perfect. Nice. Uh, seems like it wants to die. It does. It feels like it wants to die. Okay. Engine starter. Is it because the brakes are on? No, the brakes aren't even on. Okay, it's got a bit of an issue. This is the slowest thing I've ever seen. It is so slow. Okay, so, uh, I mean, this thing is going like the slowest I've ever seen anything go. Our fuel level is only at 26. This thing might use, like, no fuel. And that's kind of insane. But, um, yeah, it is very, very slow. It's so slow, actually. This is gonna take me forever. Okay, so I've been going for a little while now, and we've made it to the forest. Um, I'm not going around these trees. I'm just gonna go through them. Uh, turning is not something this thing does. Our fuel is, is fine. We just need to make sure that it works in the water. So I'm slowly going to get there. All right. This is dedication because this thing is slow. This thing is so slow. Also, turning in this thing is the worst. It is the absolute worst. But if I can turn around, I'm going to try and turn. We're going to face our way towards the water. And we're just going to go forwards. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the water, there. water edge. Alright, so we've almost made it. Uh, our speed in this thing, by the way, is like usually like 7 to 8. Uh, now it's 9 because we're going down a hill. But um, yeah, this thing is so slow. It is so, so slow, which is unbelievable. I don't know why it's so slow. I wonder if it was when it was made. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get into the water. We're then going to turn on water mode. And we're going to do watering and stuff. 
And hopefully that'll work. So we're just going to drive in. Okay, as soon as that propeller middle goes under, we'll go ahead and turn on water mode. And hopefully water mode works. Because it just took me 10 years to get here. Water mode better work. Water mode... What? Whoa, I'm... It's full of water. Alright, hold on. Continue. Okay, get in the water a little bit more. I think the engine turns off because it's... I just... Do, does this not work? Alright, here we go. Here we go. We need to get into the water in the, until the tank works a little. That's apparently it. There we go. And then this is water mode. This thing is so slow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Right, there's no way I'm actually going to do much with this. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back home because um, we're not really moving very Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. It's way faster in the water. Way nice. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, fuel level's going down, but awesome. It works. It actually works. All right, we're going to get back up on the land. I don't think I'm going to drive it all the way up to those uh, because I, I don't know if it'll make it. So um, we're just going to go ahead and drag it out the water and hope for the best. You know, that's all we can hope for. Yeah, there's, there's no way I'm driving it up there. I'm just not. I'm sorry. Uh, right, turn that off. Good. Uh, we're just gonna get in the gunner seat. Does this work? You can actually point it up. Can we point it sideways? Wait, what was that? What's turning? It doesn't really turn. Oh, wait, it does if you do that. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, we can actually turn fully sideways. That's awesome. And then we should be able to... Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's got a working gun. Well, kind of. Not really, but kind of. That's awesome. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Oh, actually, before we leave, I should say that this thing actually has, um, like an engine bay. So you can actually fix things inside there if you need to. Um, it has a fire extinguisher as well, and a welder. So you can actually fully fix this thing. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, it is, uh, returning to the ocean. Uh, the brakes don't appear to have, um, fixed anything. So, see you later. Alright, so we got two more vehicles to try out today. We got this big red one, and we've got that big massive thing right there. Um, essentially, this is called the Frantic World War II Amphibious Vehicle Challenge Zoguk. Zoguk. Uh, and we're going to drive it around. So, engine is one. There we go. I don't think the engine's working. It says, if engine fails, what? If engine fails, turn it off and start it again. Uh. Jesus. Okay. Okay. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Alright, I think I might have fixed it. Alright, off we go. Come on. We got this. Crank it up. There we go. Nice. Alright, cool. We're going. We're driving this massive, massive thing. Oh god, the engines are working, but only just. I think they might have failed. The engines have failed. Okay, fantastic. Come on, keep it going. I gotta, like, crank it over. It's It, it just keeps failing. Oh god, I can't make that turn. I can't make that turn. Uh, uh, reverse? Okay. Yeah, it's not actually turning when I try and reverse, though. That's really annoying. Go forwards. I can't turn this corner. It's not something I can do. Alright, let's go this way instead. I, uh, I don't know how to use this thing. Alright, this is how you turn it around. You just run into the wheel well, and um, it turns it all the way around. Yeah, we go. Perfect. Get us on the line to go forwards down the road. There we go. This is what they would do in World War II as well. This is definitely what they would do. Anyway, go up here and get in the seat. Press 1. Alright, there we go. Okay, yep. Yeah, engine's working. Everything else is working. We got 5, which says fire. Okay, that fires a million flares. Why? Why does it do that? I don't know. Also, the engine appears to want to die all the time, which is kind of strange. I'm holding the excel- oh, I'm holding the starter on. I can't turn. Um, the things are happening. I- like, this is impossible- look at it! I'm trying to turn. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, the flares have gone off, but that's okay. Right. Um, <laughs> it's taking forever to turn. It's okay, though. We're almost there. Alright, you ready? You ready? We're gonna go in the water and it's gonna be fine. 
It's gonna be A-OK, -okay. here we go. The propeller is already spinning. That's a death trap when you're on land. But, never mind. Here we go. It's spinning. And we're going. Nice. I actually kind of like this thing. If it, if it worked a little bit better, that'd be cool. But, it just doesn't. But, never mind. It's got a red nose. It's got red lights on the front. I don't know why. Um, does it have any lights on the back? I don't think so. Um, cool. <laughs> That's it, though. It works in the water. It works kind of on the land. Um, it turns better in the water, which is nice. And then we just have to go up onto the land, park it next to the other guys, and that's it for this one. Nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to park it next to the other two. Here we go, indeedy. All right, yes. We're ready. We're just going to slap on the parking brake once we get there. There we go. Awesome. We've arrived. Perfect. Nice. I like it. Well, actually, I say I like it. Um, the turning was bad, but um, and the engine is really weird. I don't know why, but um, it is. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll move on to the next one, uh, and the final one for today. Let's do it. Okay, so we're inside of this monster right now. It's called the DT Industries Amphibious World War II Military Truck, and uh, it is absolutely ginormous. It is massive, uh, but we gotta get this thing started. So, system on, when off, parking brake is enabled. But now it's on, parking brake shouldn't be enabled, question mark. Uh, let's go ahead and start her up. There we go. Whoa, it automatically drives. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. Why is it automatically going forwards? Why would it do that? Why would it automatically go forwards? I'm confused. I've got no throttle over this thing. It's either full or none. I don't understand why. That's really strange. <laughs> that is really strange. Why is it doing this? Okay, slow down. Speed up. Go slower, please. Go a little bit slower. Okay, there we go. We've, we've got it working. That's fine. Okay, we're going to drive through the flares. That's all right. Here we go. Speed up. All right, we got headlights. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, slow down. Slow down. This thing is insane. Um, we got interior lights. There we go. Stop repeating auto start. What? Oh, oh, oh. We're a bit tall to do turns. Oh, God. Turn it. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, all right, there we go. And floor it, let's go. This thing by far is like the speediest one we've had today. Oh, is that other tank sank? I feel like the other tank has sank. It has, look, it's underneath the water. Oh, we're about to explode. We're on fire. Oh my, okay. Stop. Okay, it's exploded. It's exploded. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, boat mode, go. Okay, it does work as a boat. Even though the engine is on fire, it definitely works as a boat. Cool. Uh, six is machine guns. Pew, 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 pew. Five is pumps. I don't know what that does. <gasps> is that for, like, the cooling? That's probably for the water cooling. I don't think I turned them on. Uh, never mind. Whoops. Siren. I can't hear it, but never mind. Uh, yeah, that tank has sank. That's weird. <laughs> That's very strange. Anyway, let's get ourselves on the land. And, um... Pack it up and we'll have a little look around on the inside. It's revving up too much again. It's going to explode again. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn this off too. There we go. Have we got a parking brake? What's this? Front mag. Okay, cool. Uh, we've got loads of equipment right here. We've got a door out the top. Okay, how do I get into the back? I can't actually get into the back. Uh, yeah. Oh, unless I climb up here maybe. Here we go. Oh, you can actually get into the back. No, you can't. I died. Okay, amazing. So you die if you... Hmm, interesting. All right, so now we're in the back again. What is this? Oh, you can actually control it from here. That's quite cool. That is quite cool. Uh, channel 8. Um... Okay, hold on. It's not working. What does this control? What does this actually control? I'm thinking the turret, but like it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything at all. Also, um, we've just got like storage back here and then we got this, which I, I don't know what that is. So we're just going to go outside and... Um, Pick up my stuff, because I died. And, um, 
Yeah. I, I don't know what this does. Like, it doesn't seem to do anything. Is it because the power's off? Let's have a little look. Come on. Turn the power back on. I know you are on fire a little bit, but that's okay for now. Oh, it's not actually on fire anymore. Uh, right, go. It's not doing anything. I don't know. Um, right, anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that there. Um, that thing's really cool. Uh, I think the front of it looks pretty awesome. The back of it looks really strange, and I'm not sure what's going on in the back of it, so, uh, that's really weird. That tank down there actually looks really cool. I don't know where it's gone. That tank down there actually looks pretty cool. Um, obviously got a few issues though, uh, because it sank, but never mind. Um, that right there has a really bad engine, or seems to, and that's really strange. Uh, that one's really cool. I like it a lot. I actually like the way this one looks, though. I think this one looks pretty cool. Uh, and that one right there actually works. Well, actually, it doesn't, does it? The engine didn't turn on, which is kind of strange. But, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to use any of these that we've used today, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you want to see more. Uh, I can't do outros, can I? If you guys want to use any of these that you've seen today, they'll all be linked down below. Um, I want to say thank you guys for actually creating them. It's awesome that you guys are taking part in the challenges. And, um, yeah. Awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.